Shane, obviously a great start to the game tonight for you personally, and then the team followed suit. Uh, what can you say about your goal? It looked like you were really patient on the two-on-one, then went top shelf. Yeah, it was a really good pass by Schneider across ice. Um, he did that, made that same play last game, and it's, uh, it was a great play. And I was actually looking for Patty Canoni on the back door, but the D uh, made a good slide, so uh, my only choice was to shoot the puck, and uh, it was a nice goal. As a guy from Rochester, how sweet is it to be able to score a goal against your former hometown team? Well, it's definitely uh, exciting. Um, it's uh, you know just like any other goal. I'm happy to help the team on any given night, and uh, it's a good way to start the game tonight. Uh, if you could just talk a little bit about the team's play, uh, playing back-to-back -back nights against anybody, Rochester, Wilkes-Barre. How difficult of a thing is that for you guys to have to face a team one night after a tough shootout loss last night? Well, yeah, it's tough. Uh, obviously, last night that was an unfortunate outcome. It's uh, it's never fun to lose in a shootout, but. Um, I guess it was a good thing for us because we lose a game like that and we're able to get back at the same team uh, the next night. So uh, we did a good job tonight and a uh, good job getting the two points. Looked like the boys had a lot of jump tonight early on. You guys really came out flying in the first, uh, you know, three nights or four nights or three games, and yet you had all that energy. What do you attribute that to? Well, it's uh, I think like I said last night we lose in a shootout and uh, none of the boys are happy. That's it's uh, one of the toughest losses to lose in a shootout and. Uh, like I said, it was uh, it's a good opportunity to be able to play the same team the next night. So uh, we came out strong tonight and uh, we wanted to win. You guys are professional hockey players, but for you personally, I mean, is there anything when you go up against Rochester, a little extra motivation for you, or is it just, hey, they're another hockey team? I mean, maybe maybe a little bit more excitement, yeah, because uh, it's just a team I watched growing up as a little kid and be able to play against them and do well is uh, is, is pretty fun. Uh, as far as Christmas coming up, you guys have a couple days off. Uh, well, first off, what are your plans? And second, you know, are you happy to have a little bit of a break for the holiday? Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's a little excited to have a few days off and uh, going to do some uh, last minute Christmas shopping and uh, obviously spend some time with my family and friends and just enjoy the time. Going up to Rochester? Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, and then anything on your Christmas list that you're looking for? Uh, not really. I, people, uh, my mom and dad are asking me what I want for Christmas, but I don't really need anything. I have everything. So um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. And then lastly, obviously a big game for you guys on Wednesday, the day after Christmas. You're going to have a couple days off, but in this time of year, especially like toward the midway part of the season, is it good to get a couple days off to refresh your batteries before a big game against Syracuse? Definitely. It's uh, it's a big game. It's a team we're chasing in the standings. And, uh, yeah, it's good to, to have a break, kind of you know get your mind straight again. And the season's a long, a long season. It's a grind, and uh, these few days will probably be good for us, and hopefully we can come out strong uh, when we get back.